Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm finishing off a, uh, the February arc. This should be premiering at the end of February. At the start of March, I have a calendar. Uh, yeah, this will be premiering on February 23rd. I'll be 22 at that time. Mercury will be in retrograde, so uh, glad to have you with me. Communicating properly, I hope. Um, today we're gonna try... Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty unthinkable. Um, today we're gonna try to knock off three missions at once in the Waterfall Cave. One of them's an A-rank uh, delinquent, an <laughs> A-rank criminal. It should be really, really hard. And yeah, there's uh, an expedition we're sort of trying out for, but suddenly we have enemies, so that might get complicated. Today might be a very difficult day. Um, that's all good stuff, but uh, I think I want to prep myself for this this fight. I think Starly wouldn't have been that hard if we had a certain item. I don't know how much harder this gang of Chingling's gonna be. I mean, if it's multiple Chingling, that really could be tough, and it might make the strategy not that great. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put my life on the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Strings is good defense, but um. God, yeah, it's, it's a gang of Chingling we're going to fight, which is hilarious enough to make me not feel bad about the fact I'm really pushing myself um, quite a lot. Uh, I wanted to sleep. I, it didn't even hit me until I was talking about it that there's probably going to be multiple enemies here. Because if it was one, we really could have just put him to sleep, but let's just try it. Uh, we're depositing Warpsy. I might want. Max Luxor, I probably won't. That's what ifs. Um, why not? Apple, I probably have an apple. Or an or an or an. Okay. Yeah, I, I do want to be low-key loaded up. I don't want to be tapping into the reviver seeds. Um, I don't. I might have to strategically use Tony, because Tony is more expendable than the rest of us. I wouldn't want to use anybody else you recruit, but I might have to. Granted, they don't actually go to the void if they, you know, get defeated in their first mission, like I was thinking. Oh man. Violent Seed. I'm gonna try a Violent Seed. Maybe two. Uh, sleep Seed I thought I might have. Seven spaces. This is fine. Storage. Um, might as well take this. Stun Seed for sure. Um, um. Orbs. I mean, that would be good if it really comes down to it. I don't want to not have that option. I really don't. Warpseed, Warpseed. I mean, yeah, these could be really good if push comes to shove, and I don't usually have a use for them. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that the oh, violent seeds gonna last a few times. I'm not gonna want multiple, but I might want to use both. I've had plenty of them available. Tingling band of bees. These thieves operate in a group. Jeez. Here we go. Help me Pokemon search. Uh, on specific floor. Oh, I have to escort them. Only to 4-5 though, so that shouldn't put anybody in danger. Alright, I'm gonna do those three. This is the serious part of the Let's Play. The cave itself is not that bad, even though it is kind of bad. And they can like really hit Bon Bon. It wasn't that scary. It's like only nine feet floor. Nine feet floor. Nine floors big. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's the same Friday night as it was two weeks ago. It's the third arc. I really like recording things in arcs. I like knowing what's going to come for a while. And I really like not recording. <laughs> I, uh, yeesh. I, ah! oh, that scary shit. I forgot we're both weak to ground. And ground really fucked me up. Um, we're not weak to Chingling, though. Yeah, I recorded the last arc uh, all in one sitting. Two, three, and four. And that felt great. It felt so good not having to record every weekend. And knowing what was coming was really nice. Um... So this, this feels good too, because next weekend I really, really, really can't record. And uh, sometimes you get busy. 
And last weekend I meant to record and I couldn't, which kind of stressed me out, but um, I'm doing it, you know? I'll get into my routine. It'll be a very different routine in college than it was at home. That's how it is. One thing I do know is that I like doing this. Oh my god, I want to, I want to recruit a Surskit, as scary as they are. Are we going to have to leave Tony? <laughs> is she just going to stay there? Nicely done. Not bad at all. Catch up. Ooh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Oh, you're blocking the way. That's really bad. That's really, really upsetting. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, this has been really, really fun. I already have two ideas for future Let's Plays, but I also am kind of accepting the fact this could take a really, really long time to finish. And like I said, episode five, when I sat down this evening, um, I'm not really in a rush to finish it. Um, I what I think I'll do is keep up this weekly thing as long as I can. And I, I like aiming for it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it is a lot. I'm not really a routine person. I mean, I, I am a routine person, but it's tricky. I like routines that are really low effort, um, that allow me to have a lot of freedom. This doesn't necessarily provide that, but having Sunday evenings to watch the videos that I make and most weekends not having to record, just having to edit, it's really cool. I really enjoyed those two weekends, so it feels nice. I'm starting to really enjoy having uh, the consistency. But um, what I would say, what I would offer is I'll probably aim for consistency until we beat the story. And I probably won't touch side stuff much unless I like have to. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of side stuff really at all. Because they kind of make you do like, you know, whatever missions, the bonus missions, sort of. But um... But um... <laughs> Hoping it's twice. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna help you, but I can't promise I can see- Oh. Oh, that was scary shit. They really don't have like the most incredible and punishing AI. So seeing it twice in a row is spooky. Um, sorry I almost warped you without asking. Uh, oh gosh. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be a very free bird once I finish the main story of this. Then I think I'll do sporadic updates for side stuff. I really don't want to deal with you right now. I'm going to use his warp seed. But I do eventually want to do like post-game stuff because it's really cool. But um, I think that doing it weekly through post-game, I mean, god, that could take a whole year. Like, I mean, I think it could take a whole year. Probably could. We'll see. But um, I think it'd be more fun to be like, hey, surprise, surprise, there's going to be Pokemon again. <laughs> and then drop it as a surprise once I record it. Oh, friend. Barboach to barboach. No. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's not that bad. Classic Pokemon asking you yes or no twice to make sure that you don't do the wrong thing. Arrest Chingling. Ah, oh, that's next. Unless Shellos is next. Not that it matters. Oh, I wanted to give this to somebody. Oh, he has it. XI Seed could be sneaky good in this fate if there's a lot of them and I want to focus on one at a time. No new friends yet. Nice snipe. Oh, yeah, we already have the stairs. Mm, navigating dungeon floors with the gamepad, the really like smooth joystick, that feels fantastic. Hey, Shellos. Hey, Shellos. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming each individual Chingling will be weaker than Starly was, because Starly was really fucking tough. Um, no. I mean, the thing is, Starly had Aerial Ace. Um, I'm assuming that these Chingling are going to have Confusion as their big hit. Confusion is not as tough as Aerial Ace, and Chingling is not as strong as Starly. I mean, probably. I don't actually know. Um, Starly's the first evolution, so I don't compare it to anything very often. I'm not like a little cup player. But, um... Join? I really want to- I really want a Surskit friend. But I don't want to bring a Surskit friend into Hellfire. But yeah, I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of them. Oh, can I do anything to prep? I mean, I took out that protein out of storage. Yeah. Well, um... 
I might need to have them be holding. Let's try something. Um, um, um. I don't want to waste anything, but... Yeah, okay, I can target eating with the seeds without giving it to them, so it's fine. I don't have to give them the violent seed to make them use it. Okay. Wait. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh! <gasps> That's not what I expected. Oh boy, this is our first monster house. Um, these are things. These are scary things. Um, this is why discharge is such a good move. Um, I think they're all going to be normal stats, is what I think. Um, this is scary. I think this is easier than like three really tough Chingling. How tough is Chingling though? So who's here? Ooh, he locked out. These aren't that bad. Poliwag could be bad, but there's none of the half ground types. Surtskid could be a problem. I'm gonna try to hit Surtskid before it hits me. Ah, this is gonna be a bloodbath, but it could be worse. Hopefully somebody blocks off Surtskid's root. Okay, we all got- that's nice. Oh, uproar. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's nothing. That's just a normal Pokemon. They have a shot at- ooh, yeah, quick attack. I don't like it at all. I really want to get Surtskid out of there. And I really like where Tony is. I'm so glad there's no Barboach. Because it's okay if we lose Tony. It's a big deal. Jingling hit really hard, though. What do I have here? Escape Orb. Oh, I want to do this. I want Spangle hitting hard as fuck. Yeah. Nice. <gasps> oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. I forgot about Uproar. I was really excited that it hit multiple targets. All right, it's me and Jingling now. That's fucked. I'm gonna shoot my shot, though. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Oh, you're in danger. You're in danger. I could become in danger. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not quite... I'm not quite ready to surrender, but I could really lose this. Oh, that, that Surskit put us in check. This is like a shitty game of chess. Let's just see how this goes. I don't want to lose. Mirror is not the move. It's all in the polywag. Uh oh. That's that could be worse. Yes, 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 we can heal him. But he is asleep now. But he's healed. He's healed and we're tough, and nobody's doing damage to him. Who did do damage to him? It was that one crazy water gun. Damn, I'm in danger again though. It's these these quick attacks that are getting us. Man, life is hard. Um, fuck, how do I hit Surskit? I can't really take a quick attack again. Transforms Pokemon. God, I, I don't- I, I think I'm fine with the role that we have. I just can't deal with Surskit. Damn, I think I have to take it. Is this our last one, though? Yes. Man, we have a lot of fighting to get through. I think it's better that I just kill Lotad. Oh. Oh, <gasps> what's up? No, <laughs> we can't beat this. We can't fucking beat this. <gasps> Sirs get moved. They've got two. Oh, nobody can really hit me right now. Lotad's burnt. I want to kill Sirs get. Oh man. <gasps> well, this this would be the time. Damn, you know, this would be the time to use Orinberry, but it's also the time to use Blaze. <laughs> I'm gonna one hit you and I'm gonna die for it. 
Am I okay? Oh, we're both. Oh, we lost. Ah. Oh. Damn. That was so hard. I I didn't I didn't I didn't expect the monster house at all. Oh, I guess we got to find out what losing feels like. Well, the good thing about this is we've got a new shot at missions. Oh, I wonder if I failed all my missions. Ah, oh, it blows. It's like it took long though. Damn, that was that was a new day for the series. It really was. Yeah, we should. So I think beating three missions is what will progress the story to the next dungeon. So we didn't we didn't do that. Damn, my adrenaline's still going. I, I, <laughs> After six pretty easy going episodes, having to fucking micromanage RPG stats so intensely it was a, <laughs> it's a new face for the series. Um, so I'm assuming our surplus got ravaged here. I think, I think we lost the defense bow. Ah, oh, that blows. Do I get one of those? But I kept my orange bow. <sighs> Lesson learned. That's a, that's punishing. That's a hard RPG <laughs> to even let us go do for one of the gay missions. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sending us to our deaths every single day. Oh my god, we... Did I complete the missions? Did I? Aw oh man, I don't know. I forgot to know if we beat them or not. Whatever. Whatever. Mmm. Mmm. Drenched fluff. I'm going to the drenched fluff. I don't know about you. I'm gonna be like six missions to make myself feel better. Find. Find. Find missing. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the first one works the same as our reviver seed mission, where we were where we found one. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the same, and we don't have anything to worry about as far as these things not being in the right place. But Jesus fuck yeah, it's it's hard to keep your team alive. I needed like eight orange berries for that, but we were taking like nothing from normal attacks. It was all these like eleven damage chip shots with Kecleon with quick attack. Reviver seed for sale. Not for me. I'm poor. <laughs> Those are getting pretty valuable. Let's do that, but um, I might take money out of savings and grab up that reviver seed. Cause I, I didn't think I'd be tapping into the boss surplus so soon. But those missions, those tantalizingly difficult missions, um, they really require like your boss items. And I mean, honestly, I should uh, probably be a little more responsible. Um, I knew that was risky, but it does feel pretty shitty to have lost. And I know it would feel shitty to lose, but um, man, yeah, I mean, I wasted a few violent seeds, um, a lot of orange berries. They're not cheap. I mean, we've had a few moments where we really filled up the larder, but. It's not free. It's, this is pretty fun though. <laughs> I've never um, been so strategic about one of these games before. <laughs> I tried to do the math, but I was off by 10. Um, it's actually pretty fun, like knowing the game and knowing like how hard, I mean, appreciating how hard it is and not just wandering through it all. Like, um, hard. <laughs> it's a hard game, okay? And like, as a kid, I would have been like, oh, I lost, I'm gonna do it again. But as like a Let's Player now, I'm like, okay, like, we gotta make sure we're doing this smart, right? Because I don't want to like do things twice on camera. Um, so it's pushing me quite a lot. I guess I'll take a heal seed because I don't have a other healing item. Heal seed can be like my stand-in for like Rostberry, Chestoberry, all those other berries. Just for now. 
I think we still have like, you know, we still have a lot of items in there. I've been very mindful about making like a stash and we've had a lot of opportunities already. Trench buff, trench buff, trench buff. <laughs> yeah, trench buff, um, I'm fine with. I, I, I really do want to recruit one of those bastard surskits. They're so cute and they have ranged moves and water is different for us. Water would be super good, but all these Pokemon would also be super good. I might feral out and record episode 8 tonight. Who says, who says, who says that I want to record again till March? Who says that in four weeks I won't want to hear myself being like punch drunk from how tired I am for an entire episode? Who says I won't want four weeks of hearing myself get increasingly punchy over the course of a night? Oh, punchy, punch drunk. I, I find a lot of my friends don't actually know the term punchy, which sucks because it's like a crucial move. It's a crucial option for me to be able to say punchy, if you don't know, to me specifically, is like late at night at a sleepover, right? You're really tired and everything's funny for no reason. So every single thing you and your friends say is hilarious and your humor usually gets pretty dumb. Yes! I don't want to do super bad. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, we have options. We have options for Shelly. Shelly! Shelly! Nah, I like the lie. Shelly's fine. Shelly! Oh, Tony! Oh, we gotta go buy Tony a drink. Tony really took some brutal looking hits. Oh my god, we didn't even deal with Chingling. We just postponed Chingling in that fight. I'm really glad that worked. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so this is good. Um, Our collection of Pokemon who complement our weaknesses is growing. Really fast. Um, Surskit would be great because Surskit hits range. Um, Tony's great because Tony can kind of self heal and throw out sleep, and I already appreciate her as like a wall. I might be prejudiced because she looks like a wall, but um, join. <laughs> I, I don't really know what I would do with duplicate people joining because it's so exciting to have them join, but it's a game where I just have no interest in having duplicate friends. I mean, I'd probably take. I'm, I'm a softie, is also the thing because there's a whole list of things going on here. No. Yes. Was that, was that the mystery one? Yeah. Yes. 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 Chingling! Oh. We can, we can have a little chingling. I'm suddenly like mad afraid about chingling. Like I was joking in my head like this can't be scary but those fights are so scary that I'm like slightly anxious about chingling now. I'm really wrapped, eh? I'd like to get out of here. There we go. Yeah, let, let's, let's bangle deal with it. But yeah, I, I'm troublingly sentimental. I have a big heart. Um, if you buy me a stuffed animal, it's... <laughs> you have to know what you're in for. Like, if I get a stuffed animal as a gift, like, it is not a throwaway gift. Like. I will, I will immediately name it, I will treasure it, I'll find like a role for it in my life probably, and form like a unique relationship with it, and I will never get rid of it. Like, I have a very small amount of stuffed animals now, because like all my childhood ones had some unfortunate fate that I wasn't involved in, like probably donated, which is pretty okay fate, because there was way too many of them, and uh, you know, in some Pokemon games, like you really do want a lot of Pokemon, but I actually get anxious about um, raids, I get anxious about all the Pokemon I feel obligated to catch after a raid that I just don't want five of. Like I feel shitty about like my five like really strong Gardevoir sitting in boxes from like three star raids. It feels terrible to have six Gardevoir you're not gonna use. I guess I do like collecting thing games like this more than I do uh more than, more than I realize I do, because that's such like an important part of my relationship to the world, is collecting cute things and forming relationships with them. Pokemon obviously nails it. Pokemon's obviously the be all and end all of... What are you doing? Is it because there's an enemy? You're crazy. Damn it. <laughs> Twice the Shelly. Um... Yeah, other games that even implement that, it's like... Gotcha's really not the same, because you're not nicknaming anything you get in the gotcha, but it is fantastic how you just one in ten in a game like Dragalia. Oh my god, you're crazy, 
I'm gonna ban you from using that move. Um, yeah, like, if you get your Noel, like, that is your Noel, but, you know, in a game like Dragalia, it's... In a game with multi in a game with dupe dupes, you don't get attached to no. Yeah, you don't get attached to your dupes. Um, in a game where you get one card and now it's on your team forever, it's just like you know getting access to talk to somebody who already exists. Like there's already only one Noel and Dragalia lost. It's just you know, do you have the right to talk to her yet? Is it is it Cerise? Is it Gala Cerise specifically? Will you never get the right to talk to her? It's one of those things. But there's actually nothing quite like Pokemon in my life where you're nicknaming things and, you know, you're pulling out from randomness um, and befriending it and helping find a reason for it on your own, like a nickname and calling it Shelly and realizing it's like a total miscreant. It's nothing like that in Gotcha. Nothing like that in Zelda. Except for like horses. <laughs> horses in Breath of the Wild. Not exactly that grouping. But I mean, I definitely had a relationship with my horse, um, definitely a relationship. I was really anxious about losing my horse, even at the stages in which I knew that there were, um, ways to revive your horse. I was still extremely anxious anytime like, I got hit by a guardian blast, like, oh my god, like, you don't want your horse getting hit by that. No. I think, because honestly, Zelda games are so lonely, I mean, Breath of the Wild really takes you back to, like, old games and how lonely they were like link to the past ocarina of time is better definitely better but like even wind waker there's there's good characters but you can barely interact with them and most of the time you're just with your boat you can barely talk to your boat it's lonely but um the old old games are really lonely like link to the past is genuinely stressful because i have no human connections i have nobody to go talk to if i'm stumped like it's really empty, emotionally barren. But, um, Breath of the Wild, like, oh, so innovative. We're gonna go back to that. We're gonna go back to making you feel lonely. But the difference is that you can go to towns and find people who know you and have, like, interesting banter with them. Like, input, even. Like, she's not bad, nice, but you have a relationship that changes, and, uh, you can always go back to her and be grounded by it. You don't have that in... Man, I, don't, I do not know what I'm talking about. I, 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 <laughs> I have no clue how to root that tangent back to anything. But um, you wouldn't have input in Link to the Past. That's a point I didn't know I had to make tonight. Yes. Do -do -do -do. I guess it's probably it though. Sick. What do we do today? We just like, struggled. What did I do before I was struggling? I prepped to struggle. Very impressive. Thank you. They're patronizing me now that I've lost my win streak. Yeah, there's so many water types and like fossil things in this game. There's so many. It's not bad. It is coastal. Gold ribbon. That sounds fantastic. Graveler Rock. That's funny. <laughs> He's a Geodude. <laughs> Pekka Scarf. These are good things. That makes me feel better about losing the Defense Scarf. Pekka Scarf would keep you from poison, which is really good. I might specifically bring it to a poison dungeon more than wear it around every day. Kudo Gumi. Kudo na Gumi. Probably Kudo E. I think I think I know Kudo E. It's E black. It's an E adjective. Hey, you two! Oh, this isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Bye. 
I'm never going to be expecting sentry duty. Let's do it. Grab a glass of water. Hope we do well and get to go on the expedition. That one's definitely me off. Yeah, Stuxa has suddenly been on a losing streak now that there's like a lot at stake in our lives. Um, nice. Why not? No, I was wrong about why not before. This is my game. <gasps> what? Oh yeah, that's what I thought was Wordor at all. Um, those are big toes. Is it safe? No, yeah, those are points. It's not my money. I do not have five thousand pokey. What? Oh. That's hard as nails. Oh. Really? Thank you. I think we did good today. You've worked an honest day. Let me review your Shintri duty performance. Your original, sure. Oh well, wow, well, perfect. <laughs> now we can never beat that high score. We did it. <laughs> Your little teeth. <laughs> Your effort will certainly be rewarded. Your reward will be special too. Cash. Nice, I'll take two. Yay! Oh, thank you. All good shit. Yeah, it's okay. That was a good selection. That is a survivalist selection. As someone who has experienced hardship, I appreciate that. What? Morning our purchases? Golly, I wonder what kind of Pokemon they are. Hey, over here, please. That's a good start. <laughs> Why the blush? Hmm. Nothing like friends. Yeah, way to bully somebody for their anxiety, you shit lord. What's going on in their brains to just not read the mood here? Everybody can read it. Oh no, I'm supposed to be excited about the expedition. We're not excited. Oh, at least we vocalized it. Oh my god. <gasps> the Guildmaster is rageous building. The Guildmaster gets angry. It will be horrific. Everyone, come on, be cheerful, even if it hurts. Hooray. Jesus Christ. 
This has become a really unstable home environment. What the fuck are you two thinking? Ah, you two. Really? More jobs on the board. <laughs> what are you thinking? Damn it. God. I guess it's another day being normal ass recruits tomorrow. <sighs> you. Oh. Yay, thank you. That'd be good. I'm realizing, uh, I think there's a lot of dialogue I've been missing. <laughs> I think, like, every time something changes, like, everybody in town has something new to say. I've been missing it. I haven't been talking to everybody, so. For next time, I think I'll be reading more. I'm gonna tap out, though. I thought something more exciting than that might happen. I'm gonna go right to bed. But. We could read somebody's diary. Something is written here. Said Flora's diary. Oh, there's a lot. Said Flora's. Oh my gosh, diary. Entry one. What a scream. Oh my gosh. So glad to meet you. I'm Sin Flora, an apprentice at the guild. Eek. But does this mean someone else is reading my diary besides me? Double eek. Is someone sneaking a peek? Oh my gosh. How horrifying. Eek. <laughs> I'm different from Bidoof. And on that note, I'll see you in March. I think this concludes our little adventure. I think that's good for a night. <laughs>